All right, today is January 5th. It's the rundown. It's actually the last rundown that we're going to do with, right, without a time like restriction. And then we're going to go to the Comedy Central because if you haven't heard, we're going to be on Comedy Central live from Houston. Um, Super Bowl week. I don't know if you can say that. Who's cooking? Somebody's cooking. Who's cooking? Someone Who cooks something? in this, this place? Is the, this is the last one. Right we'll by the way, this. is it chauvinistic? Shout assume out Julie DeCaro to assume this is one of our girls. It's a microwave. Something was microwave. Something's cooking. Anyways, it is brought I'm to just, you. I'm surprised the nose can't pin it. The I nose it. knew it was chicken teriyaki like that the other day. I think it's mac you know and it? cheese. I no, it's yeah, it's something something with maybe some some gravy or yeah, it's like, people say it's, gravy, it's, it's, red sauce. This is brought to you by SeatGeek, our friends at SeatGeek, all your ticket needs. If you're going to the Super Bowl or going to any event, Major League, uh, Major League Baseball, <laughs> Pro- probably not. NHL, college hoops, NFL, whatever you want. SeatGeek. The Geek. one sport you can't say. It was, it was, that the one one, sport that you was can't the wrong say. one to use for this ad. SeatGeek. Every other sport has at least one game. Uh, left. They'll give you 20 bucks back. Download the app. Use the code RUNDOWN. Uh, and they grade all their tickets on a letter scale, which is a brilliant thing. So the best deals in the place. Uh, number scale. It's, yeah. Letter number, that's yeah. semantics. It's true. You, that it is semantics. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like, you it's know. It's a scale. It's a scale. Listen, they make it dummy proof. Yeah. That's the point. You know exactly Dummies what like you're us. getting. Best bang for your buck, and right. it's guaranteed to be real. Right. Code rundown. Okay, uh, let's start what with. What are you doing, Hank? Oh. What's that? Are you counting this? Hank's timing. Hank's get, Hank's got, Hank. Hank is timing us over here on the right, even though this is not a timed rundown, but just to see how it goes, which I like. He's also growing a nice beard. Um, let's start with Duke. A couple different things. Um, so, Grayson Allen, what, the indefinite suspension turned out to be one game. Uh, Twitter was not happy with that, that it was only one game. Mike Krzyzewski, his last game before he's going to go <coughs> leave with back surgery. Uh, my thoughts, I, I still like Grayson Allen. I liked it as a villain. I could care less that he did one. Indefinite. We didn't know how long it was going to be. People get mad. As Bill Walton said, Duke is a private institution. They can do whatever they want. He's right. Part two, I despise Mike Krzyzewski. Despise him. See, he was you're, limping if, if, around. If you're going to be the new like big Duke fan, you can't hate Coach K. you got to go Coach all in. K. No, you can't yeah, do you that. Yeah, you can't do that. It's got to be all or nothing. Well, I'm just you're with Grayson, Coach K no matter what. If you're with what. Grayson, you got to go Krzyzewski. I, I just tell you I, I tell how I feel. I like Grayson. I hate him. He was limping around last night. Oh, but, it was classic Coach K. Oh. I, I was actually shocked because I turned on the game, and I was like, why is Coach K there? Didn't he just announce he was he he needed that he, needed sh- yeah. he needed the standing O. He needed the Cameron crazy. He's like, Coach K, we love you, <laughs> we love exactly you. What he and he's got to show the limp around. Like, Please I really am right. hurt. I, I need the surgery. And, and oh. at times, he was fine. It's only when he was thinking, I got to limp and suck it up. And by the way, college basketball is not a long season. This isn't a major back injury. Even Jay Billis, who's a Duke guy, is like, hey, no, trust me, he's hurt. There's no chance this guy couldn't. These Duke kids have four years. A lot of them maybe not because they leave early. You're going for him. Suck it up and get the back surgery. Uh, yeah, so is, is there more going on here? Danny Two Oak. Like, is there? No, is I he don't. Just punting on this season for some Duke's reason. Unfortunately, really good this year. Yeah, but, so. that's, but really good. That's what. It's that's not what like in like whatever '94. Remember '94 or yeah, whatever year they were year, bad they were and, bad he and quit. he's like, I'm out. He went. He's like, I, I'm sick. I'm gonna go like. But, but, it, but doesn't that make you think that there's something more afoot? It was so oh disgusting, you, though, last I, night. I mean, you have to be dying to bail on a season of a team this good. Well, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. He'll he's come co- back to the Final Four. He, he's doing what players yeah. He's yeah. coming back in March. Yeah. yeah. And in February, March, yeah, when he's it's pulling fun. Yeah. Pat, Pat yeah. Riley on Stan Van Gundy in Miami. Yeah, yeah. Soon, that's exactly come, what Come doing. on down when, when it's go time. Yeah. He, it was so disgusting, though. There were people. I saw one guy, like one journalist tweet, like, a zoom in picture of Coach K sitting on the bench in the middle of the game. He's just like, just saw Coach K adjust himself and like, like uh, you know, he like reached down for his left side and he's clearly in pain. Like, get the fuck out of here. He's not that much. Get pain. the fuck he's, out of here. Coach K is faking. Also, like, dude, Phil he, Jackson doesn't even have a back. <laughs> you're, a, you're an old man. Your back hurts. This is what 70. fucking happens, you dude. Know no, he actually looks pretty good. He's 70. 70. Yeah. I guess when you sell your That's soul wild. to the fucking devil. That's pretty good. And yeah. the Grayson Allen thing. There's no explanation how Krzyzewski looks like the Duke mascot. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so like he just morphed into the Duke. And also, they, remember, they Cheney, morphed into Cheney a looked like the Temple Owl, he too. That's, like, yeah, it's like when people look like their dogs. Um, <laughs> Final Burke. Final yeah, Burke. 101 Dalmatians. Spitting up. The, the indefinite suspension. I love that Grayson Allen's a bad guy. The world needs a bad guy. And I like that they were just like, fuck you, it's only one game. You cannot have an indefinite suspension be one game. Yeah. It has to be at least two. 
It has to. I think that they had like they have a couple ranked opponents coming up, and everybody yeah. would be back for that. But it's just, just wild. Spend until then. One, wild. one just creates a media shitstorm for yourself that you, that's unnecessary. Well, first of all, Shashevsky though at Duke is like saving it out, but it doesn't matter. Nobody at Duke is saying a peep to him. He does. He may be one of those guys who doesn't even know there's a shitstorm going around. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, it, it also happened because didn't they lose? Did they lose? Did they lose to uh, on the weekend? I think they no, lost. On the no. Weekend. No. You sure? Yeah. Virginia Tech. Pretty sure they lost. They yeah, they lost, lost to Virginia Tech. Tech. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I little he grates him back. I have no problem with the indefinite, and, and, and primarily because it's their decision. They can do whatever they want, and it is indefinite. You didn't know when it was going to end. It ended after one. Kind of related, since this is the last rundown that we're doing where we don't have to worry about time. Um, I have a little – I'm working on, like, a little theory. I think there's some point shaving going on with certain Ooh. team in college basketball. Would you be interested in coming back out of retirement? I have no place to gamble. I've been doing a little Except research. For, uh, Tonight that, will be a big night. I don't want to say what team it is, but I've been doing a little research. If you can't come out of retirement Except for, this. for uh, no, uh, who's our bookie? Bet DSI. Bet DSI. I'm just saying. I got, a, I'll got. i show place. you after this. I don't what wanna, team? I, I don't want to say. Okay. But I'll show you what I've been looking at, and it's weird shit's going on. Okay. I'm very interested to see it. Yes. I'm gonna, you're going to know right away. You're going to be like, whoa, that is weird. I'm trying to think who No, he's back. Think. You wouldn't he's be back. able to guess it. Okay. Yeah, you're back. Back. I know he is. I know he is. Um, this next one, we have a mum. It's a street fight. A Good old-fashioned two chicks brawling. The mum is as close as I am, probably to you, Kevin, like watching the entire fight. He's just giving her advice. Be like, don't let her grab your hair. I told you to knock this bitch out. Punch her, punch her, punch her. Don't let her put your hair. Don't let her pull your hair. Don't let her pull your hair. Don't let her pull your hair. Get off. Tyler, whoop that ass, Tyler. Tyler, whoop that ass, Tyler. Uh-uh. Tyler, whoop her ass, Tyler. I actually had no problem with the entire video. Sometimes your videos strike me the wrong way. Sometimes I find them funny. This one I put clearly in the funny bucket. And respect to the mom. You can do this. You can be a corner man. You can be like, uh, uh, shit, my brain stinks today. Um, <laughs> Angelo Dundee. You can be Angelo Dundee as long as you don't get involved. Most of the time, you degenerate, and when your daughter seems like she's lost control, jump you on. jump it. This mother did not. Mm. She just stayed on the sidelines. I actually, to be honest, I don't know who her daughter was. <laughs> it was, was she was winning, she then, then, she start, then she started but even, I don't even know who was winning and losing, to yeah. be honest. That I mean, fight was such a shit show. No, one had... Control one got yeah. on top. I guess that was racist. But then kind of let her yeah, super racist. Yeah, but she said she's like, guy. don't let her up. Yeah. Don't let her and up. And then she let her she up. She also then... she was she was going for the throat. She's like, stomp her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um there also was the moment where I thought we were gonna see a tit, and I know that this is like a little misogynistic or whatever for, for all the uh, Twitter police out there that were coming after us yesterday. Yep. But whenever there's a tit that possibly pops out on a fight video. It goes up a couple notches. Perks up, yeah. A little bit of sit, you sit a little straighter in your seat. Did you, you go, have this? Yeah. <laughs> did you have this in the funny category, or the? I'm not a big. I know that's why I'm asking guy. you. This was not like too gruesome, but it was not very enjoyable. I wasn't no. laughing. I thought no. the mother was. Funny. It wasn't. It wasn't. I'd watch. I wouldn't watch it again. No. No, yeah. I agree with that. I it definitely had a little watch. like. Ooh, yeah. It wasn't double watch. Um, Giants boat party. We didn't talk about it. Or did we talk? We didn't talk about it. No, Giants. No, no. So Should've. the Giants after they beat the Redskins. Uh, they all jumped on a plane, went to Miami, partied on a boat with uh, Trey Songs. And, and the Beebs. Uh, I don't think Beep, no. The name's being thrown around, no. but it wasn't all in right, the picture right, or anything. All right, let me clarify some of this. I think Beebs, I know this. Bieber was in Miami because he had a concert and he was at Live. Um, they saw him at. Oh, Boca, he had, Dave. He, Boca Dave knows the scene. Yeah, Boca Ooh, Dave's the all about Boca it. Dave. Live. Who the you. fuck is Boca Dave? Oh, I'm Boca yeah, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, me? Clubby Boca. I thought you had. I thought Davey you Clubs. had. Davy Clubs. I thought you had an Boca inside Dave is yeah. me. So yeah, they. Li was not live on, on Sunday, die on Monday. Yeah, Bieber. Bieber. <laughs> Bieber was not on that boat. Bieber was at Live, and they made a video with him at Live party. I was there at Live, man. This is great that you actually like are like a club rat. No, I'm not. So that's what happened. On the boat, it was Trey Song. The boat right. was Trey but Song. The problem, the video with Beebs is more the problem because you can hear Sterling Shepard in the background saying, like, I can't do drugs. No, no, that's, that's on the boat. That's the boat. That's the, the boat. boat. When you clinch the playoffs and you beat my team, goddamn, this is how you feel. I know, but this is how you feel. Oh this is how you feel. There was some video. And some by video. the way, I don't know what the, that is thing. They're like, there's drugs on the boat. Oh, there's drugs on the boat with Trey Song. Yeah, in, in Miami? In Miami. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You think, you think Jose Fernandez was on coke when he yeah. fucking crashed 
Uh, Josh's boat, yeah. you think? Yeah. No shit. But the Giants, if anything, I, I hate the Giants. It's a win. He clearly said, hey, I can't do Adderall. Yeah. Like, what more? You can't want Being anything responsible. More. Yeah. 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 But, like, some of those guys probably were. You just can't. Adderall? You, Maybe they're prescribed. What? Who knows what? The, the whole thing that I, I never got, like, I don't care what players do on their, uh, you know, days off and that. But you have to understand that if you don't win the Super Bowl now, yeah. everyone's going to point to this. And like, it's like the Brandon Marshall doing the inside the NFL when he right. used to fly from Chicago Still. to New York. I mean, now yeah. he lives in New York, so it's yeah. a little easier. But... When the team stinks, you can't do it that. It just totally. gives you a reason to, right. to talk shit. Right. And at the longest, you're, wait a month, and you can do this right. all you fucking want. Right. At the absolute longest. And, and I do understand the people being like, it's a day off, you can do this. Take it from a guy who's been partying at live quite a bit lately. <laughs> you don't recover the next day. Wow. Like you're, you're, they're, they're noodles. They're also you're noodles. You're noodles, they're you're noodles until game. next Sunday. If I had a Dude. big game, I wouldn't be there. I'd be in bed now, trying to sleep, get my now, 10 hours. In they're world class athletes, young they guys, like tired? 24 years old. They bounce I'd back quicker. I imagine they bounce but, back the, oh, yeah, quicker than Boca Dave, the they, 40 year old who just suddenly started liking clubs. They also <laughs> probably party a little harder than Boca Dave, too, though. Yeah, true. So, it all kind of evens out. Boca Dave is going hard. hard. He goes ball, <laughs> hard balls to the wall. He's going hard you in the paint. You fucking idiot. <laughs> He's going real hard in the paint. Um, and I'm going to tie that in, speaking of sleep, in this next story. Uh, so, Brady just launched a line of sleepwear, athletic sleepwear, and <coughs> you buy shirts, Under Armour. Speaking of guy who goes to bed, the Giants are partying on boats. Brady goes to bed, I guess, 8.30 p.m. every night, which is bananas. He's like Tony Kornheiser or something. Yeah, he's, like, seriously. <laughs> and he's, he invented, uh, he wears, like, super tricked out underwear, uh, underwear uh, pajamas that let him sleep. So now Under Armour has released it. It's basically athletic sleepwear. I have <laughs> athletic sheets. Not for that reason. I was going, they sell it, uh, I forget the name of it, but they're designed for the same concept to let you recover faster from sleep. I hate the sheets. I don't use them anymore. I also sleep naked, so I would never. Oh my God. <laughs> Boca Dave strips down naked every night? Ugh. I'd say like. What? <laughs> that is so <laughs> is fucking unusual? unreasonable and disgusting. That's unusual. To think about Boca Dave, like he like lets the fucking robe fall on the floor. I thought everyone. And hops into bed on his <laughs> silk, on his athletic even... sheets all naked. Oh that is a God. horrific Cody, image. I can tell why you're ever, you sleep naked, clearly, by the way you're reacting. <laughs> I've started to. Yeah, sleeping, sleeping naked. I don't. Yeah, I that is disgusting, that. man. And, and, man. and. Parlaying that, so this <laughs> happened to me last night. I can't even look at him. This, uh, this, uh, it's like so fucked up now because I'm gonna like I I don't sleep well. I wake up in the middle of the night all the time. Now I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and be like Dave's, Dave's naked, naked right now. Right, now. <laughs> right. naked. Let me so and and so I won't wear this athletic stuff. But last night, true stories, and I was a victim of sleeping naked last night. So last night we have a buzzer. You can buzz and it's like letting someone in. I can. There's a little phone. I can see who's outside, and it's a loud fucking buzzer. I went to bed last night, 10.30. Someone was wailing on my buzzer from 10.30 to like 10.40. I'm alone in the apartment. I was getting a little nervous. I didn't go out to check in. Like, what the fuck is that? Is that a stoolie, a drunk person, what? Goes away, half an hour later, wailing on the buzzer again. Uh, I kind of freaked out, threw on sweatpants, whatever. Look, the two fire trucks zoomed up to my thing. I'm like, oh shit, I've been ignoring. We're on fire. So I'm getting ready to leave. Fire, I click on my elevator and a fireman is in there. He's like, the water main broke upstairs. You're fine. I don't know. They must have just been pressing every button. I go back to sleep, get naked again. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Alone. <laughs> Renaked yourself. Renaked. Pitch black <laughs> in my apartment. And fucking, I hear somebody in my apartment. And I yell, hello? And the dude yells back, hello? Oh, in shit. my fucking apartment. That's creepy. It was my fucking landlord. S let himself into my apartment, turn on a light at one. I'm like, who is this? He's like, it's your landlord. We got to check the water. And he's running around. I'm trapped underneath my blanket. Okay, I'm see, naked. this is why you can't sleep naked. Yeah, you got to be ready to spring into action. FY. He was like a freaky, chick. Like he had it like pulled up over his chest. freaky, like, and we talked about it on the serious show, which is a question I'll ask you two. I think I know you guys both well enough to know this, but like McAfee and I were... If someone, so I thought I had an intruder. Yeah, like right? when the chips are down, how'd you react? You just stayed I was, naked I in was bed. I was yeah. scared shitless. Right. I want to get the fuck out of the apartment. Right, I'm with you on If that. there's an intruder in your place, and you, your family, everyone, you can get them outside safely, or you can confront the intruder, what do you do? I'm getting out. 
I think this is one of those situations where it's just pure instinct takes over. I get like the I fuck couldn't out. answer get what happens. Out. What are you gonna come, you gonna fight this guy? I honestly wouldn't know. That's my point. Is I think that that would be the most like intense adrenaline rush of all time to to have someone in your house. But what my thing is like. If someone's, a, they could just have a gun and right, if you would be like, that, and no Dave, matter how tough you are, I know this dead. sounds crazy, okay? This right, is going to sound crazy. Here we crazy. go. Dan's like, I would no, fucking karate no, fight him or something. No, that's not what I'm going to say. <laughs> I could take a bullet hey. with <laughs> boxers on. I couldn't naked. <laughs> <laughs> if you come out naked, you're dead. You are You dead. lose, no matter what. So you can't sleep naked. There's, even though that's only fabric and it's a very thin line of defense, you can't fight naked. What weapon would you rather have, a gun or a baseball bat? Does he have a gun, or you don't know? You don't know what he has. Here's the problem with the you gun. You always need a gun. Yeah, but you can't get a gun unless you're ready to fucking kill someone. Exactly. I don't mm-hmm. think I can kill someone. That's why I'd go baseball. I've yeah, also I'd probably never, go baseball I've bat also as well. never shot a gun. Yeah. And I, you wouldn't be good with a gun. You don't even know how you. No, how you, I just yeah. hide and crouch and then crack. But if they have a gun, you're in trouble. No, because if it's dark, they don't know where you are, and you just hide and wait. And when they sneak all out, I know is the baseball bat or gun, you're fucked shields. no matter what, so it doesn't matter. You don't have boxers on. You're fucked. You're, oh, you're, you're, you're dick flopping around. You just see me when you're the, dead. Fire, the fire truck guy, I literally had a sweatshirt on totally backwards, like in my head. It was a wild night. Not a lot of sleep for me. But um, that was t- hey, Tom Brady's sleep. What were we talking about? Yeah. Oh, you're Tom Brady's sleep. Right? Oh, yeah. I actually had one point will about this, Tom Brady. Will this play on Comedy Central, Hank, this discussion? It's, it's a good oh, thing. It, I'm not the exec. It's a good thing Tom Brady's won as many Super Bowls as he has because I think he's just as crazy as Russell Wilson with all this shit. My, uh, he's a little just, bit of cuckoo. Dude, just the phrase athletic sleepwear <laughs> yeah. is ridiculous in its own right. Himalayan the recover- salts Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he have athletic candy, he d- too? Doesn't, yeah, he doesn't eat, like, <laughs> he's like, I haven't but, had a tomato in, like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> 10 years. I don't yeah. think he drinks no, coffee. But it works. It's crazy. I mean, that's it's the crazy. thing. It's all crazy, yeah. except it works. Yeah, well, right. it's placebo. Uh, I right, a lot of right. The, the yeah. weird thing is, he was not but, like that at all when, like, at Michigan when he was coming up. Like, but now he's, like, 60. So let me ask you this. Yeah, did you that trainer that's always around, too? Yeah, that guy. That was a big steroids thing, right? guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the if you were a salesman. quarterback, wouldn't you just at least try all this shit? Of course. Like I would do no. it all. I mean, I'm not, he says, I'm I would not at least knocking do. him for trying because yeah. if you can somehow get a little bit of an edge, that's yeah. huge. If I'm a young up and comer, I'm getting the Himalayan salt, the pink this, the candy, the sheath, the candy, his spot, the yes. sleepwear. But oh. as a regular person looking it's from the outside crazy. in, he's basically like a cult guy. Yeah. Like Russell Wilson's the same way with his fucking like, he, he concussion Yeah, He also doesn't. You know, the stuff he does, there's a fine line. This is different. Russell Wilson goes into, like, religious mode. Yeah. He does. Whereas he does. There like, is a Brady's religious talking undertone. talking about, like, yeah. sport gimmicks yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, so yeah. that's the only – Brady is only, like, his only craziness is, like, this will make me better. Right, like, right. I'm going to go to do this. But it has nothing to do with God. No. Right. And that that's where you sometimes yeah, go Yeah, that makes it a little less crazy. Yeah. Um, in this, we had a slow day. I'm just curious whether anyone cares about it. I know this office does. We had like, it looked like standing room only. I watched it at the end of my house, the World Juniors, um, which is basically the Olympics with college kids. Well, I guess it is anyways, back to it, but young kids. Um, and I watched it and it was intense. Like Russia looked like they just lost the Cold War after we beat them in that shootout. Um, are you guys care at all interested watching the World Juniors? I'm not really into the juniors, but I feel like anytime Russia and USA yeah. squares off, it could be fucking so checkers. So like tonight, and you tonight it's going to be USA Canada. Canada. Right? Yeah. It's just basically anytime you put the American flag on anything, yep. I'm like, okay, I'll watch. I did think the weirdest thing. It's also thing. the matchup, too, though. Russia, yeah, Canada. Sure. I don't give a fuck so about Sweden. Or whatever. I, I will say, I thought it was really weird. At the end of the game, they played the national anthem. Like, they raised the flag like we won the gold medal of the Olympics. I'd never seen that. Like, the national anthem, they did the whole... It, it's Here, mid-tournament. Here's the problem with this kind of stuff is I just never know when it's like coming or like yeah, how oh, many agreed. there are. You know what they need to do? They need to, Apple needs to do like, you know when you get an Amber Alert when yep. a kid gets kidnapped? They need to start doing that for like, hey, guess what? There's a hockey tournament coming up. And also, if they're going to do that, I, think, I, think I need at least like two hours to find the chip. Hank says yeah. that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, no, fi- this is a, they're apps. I'm saying I need the, the thing when like, <laughs> when there's a tornado <laughs> coming yeah, and it's like warning. your phone's fucking... <laughs> Buzzing and going crazy and scares the shit out of you, and then it's like, oh, USA is in a hockey tournament. That has still, I agree with you. That has still been one of my absolute pet peeves since moving to New York is finding like channels. Like the, I, I can't hockey. I oh, never, you're still struggling with oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I'm because they're not. Uh, they're not. I got like the thing. ten, the ESPNs to the Fox Sports. That's all you need. It's good like for you. Five seventy and then the movie channels. Five ninety. Um, I assume you guys were into the post show. I assume you know about this. I found out about it a little bit ago. Our boy Robbie, our MMA guy, we were all aware of the tattoo he got yesterday. 
No. I saw uh, him, I saw him Robbie, discussing it, and he showed us the... You, Is Robbie in high school, by the way? You're not aware of what you're about to see. It's awesome. Put Robbie, are you in high school? Are you in high school, Robbie? Robbie, you want to grab a microphone? Are you in college? So our, our resident MMA guy... Are you in college? Yeah. Uh, are you sure? Positive. Show, show I thought big I heard you talking about prodigy. like I had to be home. Show, uh, it's one of those prodigies went to high show, college. Show big like 13. Tattoo. Here's my tattoo. Oh my god, I, didn't, I haven't seen it in live action yet. When he showed Rhea, <laughs> he showed Rhea like on the computer. So this is what I'm going to get. It says, can Rhea, you put it in front of the camera there? The why yeah. not? We put in a picture. <laughs> Rhea looked him dead in the eyes and said, "Robbie, why the fuck <laughs> would you do that?" <laughs> oh, so went through it. Why not? Everyone though. tries to talk. Why me not? Out. Exactly. Yeah. He has that answer. Why'd proof. you get that? Why not? Also, uh, Robbie, just show him your belt today. Have you guys seen his belt? Star Wars belt. Oh, <laughs> With the seatbelt, the seatbelt seat buckle belt. too. Yeah. This guy, this guy rises up the charts. You need to like, you need to start. You need, you, you need to start finding rigs for this. <laughs> like he let the Star Wars nerd who's getting basic bitch <laughs> tattoos on his fucking and, and also in the part, door. Part of you the discussion they had to the, he said, hey, man, Rhea said, Rhea said, are you doing this for content? <laughs> and he didn't, it was content. He, but you didn't, you didn't know yourself. You were like, no, Robbie, but it kind of will be anyway. Robbie, so why not? I said, I said no, but it's going to be. Was content. there like ever a point, guy. Robbie, where you're like, this is a bad this idea. Is something I'm going to regret. No. Robbie's come out of class. I actually now like Robbie. He also came to me with what I thought was one of the better content video ideas I've heard in a while, which is he wants to fight, uh, and he done. says he yeah. has connections, yeah, a female MMA fighter, 20 pounds lighter, and see how pounds. many, 30 pounds, see how many times she can tap they, they him out have, in five minutes. They have people 30 pounds lighter than you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, no does chance. that exist? Yeah. Dude, no yeah. chance. And, and how many times how much she can tap weigh? him out in five minutes? 45. This the, guy, this guy. You come in with a why not tattoo that he said he's been wanting since you were 13? Yeah. Wait, two years. So to... the, for the past two years. <laughs> yeah. You've been wanting since you were 13? Yep. You, you weren't like, hey, I had this idea when I was 13, maybe it's not good anymore? <laughs> no, no, I, I just kept with it. How so weird is it to be a 13 year old boy and be like, I just want a why not tattoo <laughs> across the river? It's a little motivational Took a quick year Xanax year <laughs> yesterday and went to the tattoo shop. Yeah. And this belt, this whole con, the Macho Man, the why not, and the, and the belt buckle fucking Star Wars, you are a rising star, Robbie. I, 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 didn't, I wasn't paying enough attention to you. I first noticed you when you came in and said you were an MMA guy, but I'm on to you now, oh, and man. I don't know what you're doing. I was, it, Robbie's like, been, Robbie has been emailing Barstow for like forever. five years. Yeah. To like, the point you, I, I remember when you blog. emailed me when you were like 14, probably when you came up with the white Horrible shirt yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, I can't, we can't hire a 14-year-old. We, yeah. we, <laughs> we'd say like, hey, we should do this shirt, and it, I'd have 10 versions of it, but it was like so obviously a joke. <laughs> From a 14-year-old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Robbie, no, but now, I mean, All that right. belt Ooh, is where's Glenny? Let's fucking, get a little, Glenny not, gets man. a little, where's Glenny? Glenny does get territorial. I'm the king intern. Yeah, but and there, why I mean, not? He might, there, Glenny might have to sit on I, you. No, I think me and Glenny are a tag team, Robin Big. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Interesting yeah. take. Yeah. I've I, oh, never heard that good one. Name. <laughs> it is a good name. Can we use that as that trademark? Like, yeah. Robin Big. Might have expired. Your name's Robbie. He's Glenny big. is skinny. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what? Keep it going. Come in with that why not tattoo. Well, can I see it again? I will every day. I'll come in with it. <laughs> Did you no, ask on, for that? I guess you can cover it up with a movement watch. Yeah, he had it on the computer and everything. He had it all planned out. <laughs> Wild world. Rhea like literally, literally laughed right in his face. Like, there's no what? way you're actually gonna yeah. do that. And he was okay. like, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So Why Robbie. Not? Well, and in true Robbie fashion, you're sticking around a little too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait for you to kick me no, out. It's awkward. It's, it's time yeah. to go. Yeah. It's time, to, it's time to go. All right. That's it. There we go. That's the rundown. So net. So comedy set. So comedy we're doing. Start practicing next week. All the haters. Uh, swinging with that. We're gonna be swinging a bat with the donut on it. So we. Uh, First time in the history of Barcelona we practice. And I, I also want I, I, my favorite thing with all these haters, these Twitter haters, which is the people who who I literally have no idea who they are, but they somehow come across like some girl. We have a lot of girls actually who are like, I like Barstool, yeah, and I hate these and then people they get attacked course, by they are being like, right. And they don't just read one <coughs> Cauldron article and be like, right. that's what Barstool is. Right. And they're smart and normal. It's like I've been reading for years. I think we get it. But the people who block you when you have no idea like that they even exist, mm. that's like the most bizarre move. Yeah, I got a lot of that last night. I was clicking on those things yes. and I couldn't even see the tweets. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, put, they were, I was already blocked. <laughs> we don't need to rehash it, but I put the update anchor. It, it, I, I basically wrote the script of what she was going to do, and then she did it to a T. And I was yeah. like, okay, I know what you're going to do. You did it, so we own you. How many times do you think you guys swear that episode? Take a guess. Oh, that's what you're counting? 
So for reference, two days ago was 61. This and it was like, like 35 of them were Kevin. This uh, is like the jelly bean game, when it's like how many jelly beans in a jar. Okay. How many swears? I would say, uh, it was lower, I think it was lower than that day. I would say 41. Is this price to right rules? Can you go over? Or are you disqualified if you go over? Yes, Let's price is right price rules. Dave, right you go ahead. Price is right rules? Yeah. Yes. Larry Bird, 33. 42. 39. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. And on that note. But I fuck, I shouldn't have done prices right rules. I would have won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you did.